Hello everyone and welcome back to the second part tutorial on this series of how to model an iPhone and I want to speed things up so let's continue um, last, uh, at the last part, the first part actually I uh, still were in uh, x-ray mode so I will undo this uh, by unticking x-ray from the shading tab and Sorry about the noises. Now, the next thing is to create um, another cube, okay? Uh, bring it somewhere here in the front. Um, use the scale tool to scale it to something about this. Now, as you can see, I'm always um, relying on uh, the axis, and every new uh, thing detail I'm adding to this iPhone, I'm always uh, trying to leave it uh, where it was centered, okay? So um, I leave it on this this axis, which uh, I'm not sure which one of these, uh, probably the Z axis, okay, I'm not sure, yeah, probably. And now I'll only move it uh, down here, so uh, it will face the button itself because uh, the speaker itself should be uh, somewhere uh, almost at the same size um, like the width of the speaker okay so um, should be something that looks like this okay nothing more than this, that um, the next thing is maybe to make it like so um, and now uh, right click on it choose edge choose this edge shift this edge this edge and this edge okay go over edit mesh choose bevel now uh, the corners will be beveled but we need to add more segments so add more segments to it and <clears throat> now tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode which means the green uh, wireframes and now we will move it up to this area now we want to make sure that it's centered in this area so um, I will focus uh, while it's still selected on the back okay and try to put it somewhere uh, in the middle of this face okay this part um, Let's see, yeah, it looks almost fine, I, th I think. Um, all, right. all right, so um, now, you know what, maybe it should be a little bit smaller, like this. Now, we will need to use the x-ray again, so apply the x-ray and we really want to be very um, very in very little bit inside not much okay something like this it's fine um, you can see where the shadow of this face is actually applied uh, it's like um, on top of our uh, this object so this is no this is how I know how much it's inside okay um, now choose the iPhone then this object mesh booleans difference and now we have a little thing to do is actually um, choose the inside vertices okay uh, now we will do it that way maybe if, mm, I'm not sure uh, let's see maybe if I will check this choose this and this okay actually all the co all the vertices of the corners uh, are important here uh, okay let's try do this first there choose those and those and 
than those and those two and those. Now, after you select all the inner ones, um, switch to move to scale tool and bring it somewhere about here, maybe. Sorry, maybe somehow like this. And excuse me, just make sure that uh, it's at the same width. Yeah, that looks fine. You know what? Maybe a little bit more, like so. Uh, and maybe with the scale tool, uh, move tool, maybe we will bring it a little bit like so. Okay, so tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode. Um, now we will create um, the camera next to the speaker. So create um, a new polygon cylinder. All right, so rotate it a little bit. You can turn off the X-ray. Just rotate the polygon cylinder a little bit. Make sure um, it's on 90 degrees. So like so had more uh, subdivision axis to it so 50 it's okay and <clears throat> this time I want to add some more um, subdivision height to it okay so now we have um, those subdivision on top of our uh, cylinder now make it smaller and bring it up like so um, and maybe over here now we want to make it uh, almost at the same uh, not exactly but a little bit more than the speaker's height okay like it's the same height on top of the phone itself but um, the length of the height here at the speaker from the top to the bottom is should be the uh, just a little bit bigger okay so I will face it here so I can tell how much it's bigger okay something like this it's probably fine um, maybe even smaller more smaller okay and bring it over here Okay, somewhere here it's kind of okay. Um, the next thing is to bring it outside and apply the x-ray. And now what I want is, um, I want to make sure that um, the cylinder is going inside to about um, three or four um, lines of our faces so I maybe add some more just to make you know what probably pass 19 is okay um, let's turn off the x-ray it will be easier for you to see what I'm doing so I'm entering <coughs> one line of faces two line of faces three and four okay so the four should be looks something like this and then choose the iPhone, shift, select the camera, and that should be the camera, right? So it's the camera. Edit uh, mesh, booleans, and difference. Now, after you apply this, um, <clears throat> you will get something like this. Okay. Um, right click on the phone, choose face, uh, we will choose this face, shift double click on this face, it will choose all the loop of those faces and click on extrude once and with the blue arrow pull it inside somewhere here and then shift uh, just click on this face, shift select double click this face click extrude again bring it to something about here 
Now, what we are doing is actually creating some kind of stairs. Okay, so um, this is how it looks like uh, in the iPhone camera, and I want to make it look real. So this is the goal. Now, after you've done so, um, <coughs> we want to create a lens to this camera. So um, create another polygon cylinder. Uh, you can pull it outside here add more subdivision axis to it and rotate it by 90 degrees okay 90 degrees now um, we'll do this almost at the same <coughs> way we did the button but we will use again round cap okay now thing is actually to um, get rid of those part of faces okay all this cut and tap on F8 to get object mode and go over modify center pivot and use the scale tool in order to squeeze it like so okay uh, maybe a little bit more still want to uh, preserve the roundness of the lens so uh, not much okay don't f make it flat now I'm making it small and bring it over here and I'm placing it almost uh, where it touches the phone itself and then move it over here now you can make it smaller and zoom in to here over here and now we will use um, tap on 4 on your keyboard number 4 will create only wireframes uh, from the model so you can rely on them by uh, when you select the lens itself and choose back it will uh, point your camera in front of this uh, straight in front of your lens and you can uh, zoom in a little bit with using alt and right mouse uh, button in order to see that you are centered with the camera itself okay so uh, it's very 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 we need to bring it maybe a little bit more up like so and maybe move it aside like so now it looks like it's uh, an at the right position okay but um, we can use the top view and maybe the side view it's better in order to know where exactly we want the lens to be and the place for the lens should be the inner uh, circle okay the most deep point in our uh, camera and then we, maybe we we can see that uh, it's a little bit uh, small to this um, level and we need to make it larger like so and that looks fine let's go back to the perspective view we can tap on 5 to bring it back to uh, shading and let's see yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, so um, that was uh, the second part. Um, I'm trying to make those um, those parts of tutorial uh, like shorter in time. So um, forgive me, excuse me about this. Um, it's just for your own. Uh, <coughs> How to say uh, so you will it will easy it will be easier for you okay uh, 
and that's it so we'll, we'll meet you next in the next tutorial part uh, where we, we will continue this uh, modeling of our iPhone uh, I hope you enjoy this part and uh, it was easy for you uh, if you need uh, to ask a few questions you can always leave me a comment or uh, an inbox message and I will get back to you <clears throat> so for long for now have a nice day and see you soon bye